Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. Today I'm presenting a new dish, something I've never tried before, but I've been curious about. I'm using butternut squash and I'm going to add some potatoes and some peppers, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, just for color and for the flavor. Add some onion and this dish comes together very quickly. It is perfect as breakfast or as lunch or as a side dish. I paired it with a chicken recipe that I have on my channel. That was the last recipe I uploaded. So check it out because this combination was bomb.com it was amazing and it is one of those dishes that it comes together very quickly very nourishing very filling and it is absolutely delicious so if you want to try something new especially for my ninja people try this because it is amazing let's get cooking These are the ingredients for this recipe. Whatever is not mentioned will be listed in the description box, which is below. I have the butternut squash. Like I said, I have been seeing this in a lot of supermarkets and I was so curious. I was like, this thing looks very affordable. It was about 500 naira for one. And I was wondering what can I cook with it? So I picked one up at my last market haul. If you've not watched my market haul video, go and check it out. It will be linked in the description box and a lot of people ask me where is the description box just look below this video and click expand you'll find the description box so I picked up a butternut squash I took it home and then we're cooking so we have green bell pepper we also have some red onion we have some small scotch bonnet and we have some Irish potato in Nigeria, we majorly have two types of potatoes, these types which we call Irish and then we have sweet potatoes. Now I'm just prepping the vegetables, I'm cutting the peppers into my desired shape and I always say it in my recipe videos, the way your food looks affects the way it tastes so i want all the sizes to be uniform it will always affect the dish we eat with our eyes and our noses first before the food even touches our lips so make sure presentation looks good when you're cooking if you agree with my statement leave a comment and click the like button Cutting the butternut squash was interesting because it was my first time so I'm giving you guys my first <laughs> experience. You can use a potato peeler for this but it's a bit hard, it was a bit hard for me so I used a sharp knife which was more convenient and it felt like peeling a bit of an unripe pepper. I don't know if you guys know what a pepper is or papaya, some people will call it papaya but we call it papaya in Nigeria and this is what it looks like on the inside. I just scooped all of that out. After scooping out, I cut them into little cubes so that it matches the size of the pepper and the potatoes we'll be using for this recipe. I absolutely love butternut squash now. I love the color, I love everything about it. When I tasted it after cooking it, it tasted so good, you guys. It tasted familiar, like something I tasted before that I wanted to know what it was, but I couldn't figure it out. Do you get what I mean? So it was really delicious, it was sweet. If you've not tasted butternut squash before, you really should try it. To be honest, most of the time spent cooking this food was spent preparing it. 
if all is prepared it is something that comes together really really quickly in 30 minutes your dinner could be ready if you have everything prepped this was something new and different for myself and my family to try you guys know I have a full timetable well if you don't know well now you know I have a full timetable that will follow if you don't have a copy of that full timetable the link will also be in the description box for you so you can download it it's a collection of meal ideas that you can try for about six months you can repeat it and use it all through the year this is what we do but sometimes some people complain that oh you know if you have a full timetable you always know what you're going to eat it gets boring after a while but for me it doesn't get boring because i try new food which is why i'm showing you guys this recipe you can try this and add it to your food timetable switches things up for you so download the food timetable in the description box and also my cookbook because we have a 20% off this week to season i'm using some garlic powder some ground pepper some salt some black pepper and i also have some crushed you know pepper because i just like the way it looks i'm going to mix everything together this is all the seasoning you need and i'm going to sprinkle it on my mixture going to add some oil to it that's some olive oil enough for it to roast and just mix everything together to combine it so that the flavors and everything will go well together can you see how pretty it looks look at all the gorgeous colors of the potato the butternut squash the bell peppers the onion everything looks so pretty now we're going to transfer it to a roasting pan what you want to do is roast it on a wide pan i wanted to roast it in this white um roasting dish that i have but it is not going to roast as i like it is actually going to steam and that is not what i want you need enough space for each <laughs> each item to flourish so i've just transferred it to a preheated oven and i'm baking for about 20 minutes Halfway through roasting, maybe at the 10 minute mark, you can open the oven and then flip it so that it does not burn on one side. So you flip it halfway and then this is what you have at the end of 20 minutes or depending on how hot your oven is. If you don't want to use an oven, you can use your air fryer. A lot of people have air fryer these days. So you can try using that as well or you can pan fry it if that's what you want. Like I said, I paired it with this chicken dish and creamy spinach sauce that I made and it was absolutely delicious I've made it so many times after then because it's just something I crave all the time now I hope this is one of those recipes you give a try if you do try it let me know by tagging me on social media Instagram Facebook I would love to see it thank you for watching click the like button on this video and I'll see you in my next one bye